Welcome to the USB-X setup video. In this video, we will show you how to set up the USB-X with the Crown USB-enabled amplifiers in Audio Architect. First, you'll need to download Audio Architect from archimedia.harman.com. Click on Software, HiQnet Audio Architect, and scroll down to download the software. Once the program has been downloaded and installed, we can begin the setup process. Out of the box, the USB-X is set up for DHCP mode and the security password is Crown123. Connect your USB amplifier or amplifiers to the USB ports of the USB-X. If you have more than two amplifiers, we recommend using a powered USB hub. Each USB-X will support up to eight USB-enabled Crown amplifiers. With a wired or wireless Ethernet connection made between your PC and the USB-X, you're ready to open Audio Architect. Since the USB-X has a built-in wireless access point, this video will cover a wireless type connection. Click File in the upper left-hand corner and select Application Options. Click on Network Connectivity to display the Ethernet Interfaces section. If the area is already populated, then highlight any and all listed TCP interfaces in that section and click on Remove Connection. Repeat this process until all of them have been removed. Now you can click on Add Connection. Here you can choose the IP address of the network interface that you're using to communicate to your network and select Add Connection to add it to the Ethernet Interfaces section. When you see the correct IP address listed, click OK to leave this window. Click on the Net Setter icon and you'll be able to see the USB-X along with all the Crown amplifiers that you have connected. Net Setter may be indicating that you have a high QNet address conflict. That's because all of the amplifiers ship with the same high QNet address. You'll need to change them so there are no conflicts. There are two ways to change the address. To have the software auto-assign an address, click the checkbox under Random ID. To manually type in the address you want, click the address itself to type it in. To make the address changes permanent, click on Apply Current Edits on the bottom right-hand side to see the ID changes. Now you can close NetSetter. Now that you've changed the addresses, you'll see them listed under Discovered Devices. Click on one at a time and drag it to the Room 1 section. Now you can go live with your amplifiers. Click on the Go Online button to program as needed. You may have some windows pop up. The first is if you need a firmware update for the USB-X or your amplifiers. Choose No as you can always go back later to perform the update. The next window that may pop up is called Save to Network. For this situation, click No or Ignore. You'll then see R and S on the amplifiers. R stands for Receive from Device. S stands for Send to Device. If you did any pre-programming before you clicked Go Online, then you'll want to click the S to send those settings to the amplifier. If you know there are settings already in the amplifier, click R to receive those settings into the software. You can do this individually for each amplifier or for all the amplifiers together. You are now live with your amplifiers. If you have any questions, please visit www.crownaudio.com.